Uh, my name is JB Salceda. I'm CEO of Salceda Industries. We are a 3PL based in South Austin. My name is Ross Epperly. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of Salceda Industries. We focus on retail clients that are shipping direct to customers, but we've also utilized the Shipero platform to um, fulfill wholesale distribution uh, in more traditional channels as well. The purpose of our business as a 3PL for our partners is less to physically ship items and more uh, as a role in strategic partner to help them avoid the mistakes that we made when we started our own e-commerce business. Really, we just want to be a mom and pop store that doesn't act like a mom and pop store. And so when we built out our own infrastructure that we event that eventually evolved into Salceda Industries, it was taking that into account. When Salceda Industries was moving from our legacy system, which basically operated on paper pick lists only, um, and we moved to Ship Hero, we were anticipating a daunting transition. Um, we didn't know what to expect, but we anticipated that there was gonna be a lot of upfront work to move an entire warehouse from one system to another. We were pleasantly surprised that Ship Hero's transition process is actually extremely uh, seamless. We used the software to print out all the barcodes that were necessary. Um, there is CSV upload capabilities that allows for the mass import and export of data. We purchased the, the license for the software. Um, there were some hardware components that the iPod and the iPad, um, the digital barcode scanners as well. Um, so barcodes were all provided by the software. So there's no additional barcoding software that's needed to be purchased. Everything is um, built into the system and available for use for the user. So really within a week, we were transitioned from an entirely archaic and legacy system to a new and improved ship hero. And it got us up and running within a couple of days. And clients sometimes look at third-party fulfillment services as a way to just completely sell off their operational aspect of their business. Um, we found that the clients who do that are the least successful of the clients. Those clients that stay in touch with their operations through the visibility that Ship Hero provides gives them the information to grow effectively and efficiently. When you're using the software and you scan an order item, if you scan the wrong box, you will get a giant red beep and it'll pop up in your face and there's no question about it, you have scanned the wrong item and that should not go into your cart. Um, that confidence that we can instill in our clients is one of our biggest selling points. They typically come from other fulfillment companies which cannot provide that level of confidence. Um, they're reliant upon their workers doing a good job, which depending on the day, depending on the worker, can vary from time to time. With Ship Hero and the iPad and the iPad scanner, that quality assurance that exists is going to exist with every employee at any time of the day, no matter what's going on. So our biggest selling point is our quality assurance to these clients and making sure that they know that we have not only people processes in place to check for quality, but there are systematic checks and balances in place that Ship Hero and only Ship Hero provides. Ship Hero being able to run on an iOS platform has really provided efficiencies in our warehouse in a number of ways. Um, for one, it is quicker. Uh, the elimination of printing out pick lists and having people walk around seemingly aimlessly around the warehouse is eliminated through the way that Ship Hero will triage where the closest products are to you as the picker. The scanners themselves act as a quality assurance for us so that um, throughout a day uh, when mental fatigue sets in and our pickers are picking hundreds and thousands of products, the scanner is there to fall back on to tell them whether they're scanning in the correct product or not. So we have eliminated our error rate um, down to near zero because of Ship Hero. Because of the simplicity that the alphanumeric sorting provides, it is really easy to bring on a new employee. There's really not a whole lot of training that needs to, that needs to happen. The iPad is directional enough that you can hand it to anybody and they will understand what it is you need to do. 
So we have employees that come in on their first day and we have zero orientation process. We give them an iPad and we have uh, them shadow a picker for one or two uh, pick rounds where, where they're scanning with the barcodes and using the iPads. And after one or two turns, the employees that we've brought on have been able to jump right in. Um, there's really not a learning curve when it comes to the software. It is intuitive and it is executional in nature that it's allowed us to bring employees in quickly and scale up um, just as quickly. It also means that with each new client we bring on, our volume could, could raise exponentially. We, we, could, we could overnight take on a new client and have two times the volume. All that means for us as a manager or um, as an operations uh, manager is that we need to buy a couple more iPads and a couple more scanners. That is the extent of our scalability. Uh, we are limited by space, but we are not limited by the technology. Ship Hero has processes that are ingrained into the system, but with your own sort of creative problem solving and planning, you can take some of those and mold them to fit your own processes that you have. As we've grown, what we've really liked about it is that as we've come up with ideas for things to do in the warehouse, it's structured enough to close any gaps and holes and places for things to kind of fall between the cracks, but loose enough that we as an organization don't feel locked into the way that somebody else wants us to do our business. We have a lot of organizations that have reached out to us about working with Salcedo Industries, and the thing that we hear most often is that we're growing really rapidly and we're struggling to find someone who understands the needs and the need for flexibility uh, both in inventory management and inbounding um, but also sales and everything else and more often than not they mention that there's a lack of visibility with the current 3PL situation or uh, most of the processes that are developed at the 3PL that they're using um, are very opaque. Ship Hero, um, we've been really happy with it because it allows us to manage every component of the business that we need to manage for our clients, but gives them the tools to feel like they're a partner and not like our facility is just a box that they store their stuff in. One of the best parts about Ship Hero is its ability to integrate with multiple e-commerce platforms. We have a number of clients that come to us and they exist, they have stores that exist on Shopify, on BigCommerce, on WooCommerce, on many different platforms, and Shop Ship Hero's technology has allowed us to integrate into all of those. So when a new client comes to us and they ask to be a part of our client roster, the integration between Ship Hero and Shopify takes less than 30 minutes. It is uh, a matter of providing administrative access to the e-commerce storefront, and on my side, is for Ship Hero to integrate to the store is just a click of a few buttons. Our old shipping process was one in which we printed out a pick list, grabbed a you know postal service bin and walked around our warehouse with the bin on our hip and the paper in our left or right hand and grabbed stuff off the shelves with no quality control at all. What's been really great about our system now is our employees come in, they look at the queue, they see what's going on that day and the two guys, three guys, four guys, however many we need to throw at it, they go grab a cart, they grab an iPad and a scanner, and they just tell it, I'm ready to pick this number of orders, and it says, all right, great. In a previous life before I worked in e-commerce and uh, logistics, I was in the advertising business. And anytime the client wanted any kind of information or they needed something, they reached out to their account manager. And the account manager then reached out to so-and-so, and then so-and-so, and so-and-so, -and -so, until they found an answer, and then it went back through the game of telephone, back to the client to answer something that probably could have taken 15 minutes. In our organization, we've taken all those people out of the equation and said, and empowered our employees in a way that allows them to interact directly with our clients. And the way that we've been able to do that is because all of the shipping information throughout the entire product or order life cycle is visible to each of our clients. They have access to everything that's specific to them and pertinent to their store, whether that's client requests, customer service changes, returns exchanges, um, address holds, all of the things that used to be completely thrown over to customer support that our clients used to have to go ask someone uh, when they're about when they're trying to investigate, they now have all those tools available to themselves in a way that's 
easy for them to understand, but not so overly complicated that they need someone to, you know, uh, interpret for them. From a, a client's perspective, it's not a walled off sandbox that they can't have visibility into. They've got access to 100% of their orders, the shipping that's taking place that day, the data that's associated with those orders, and understand what's happening with their specific store in the grand scheme of what we're doing um, you know, on a regular shipping day. We're able to sit at a high level on sort of an umbrella account, an umbrella 3PL account, and see all of our clients' activity for the days and days to come. The clients themselves can log in to their own free account, which looks exactly like ours. It gives them the same abilities that we do, um, but it only shows them their orders, their products, and their inventory. When they log in, they can look at the dashboard, they can see how many open orders they have, they can see how many late orders they have to keep us accountable as their fulfillment partner. They're also able to manage exceptions. If a customer calls in and suddenly needs expedited service, uh, there doesn't need to be a game of telephone where they are reaching out to the fulfillment center to then enact that change. They have the access and the tools uh, to make the the change to the order right then and there. There are certain decisions that we are not able to make before our clients. For example, shipping revenue. How much do you charge a customer to ship a product? That is a personal decision that each client needs to make. However, Ship Hero can provide you with reports to tell you your profit and loss on shipping revenues each week, each month, each day, however you wish to break out that data. So we have many clients that are experimenting with different shipping rates and are determining where it fits best with them, what their best strategy is, so that they can maximize shipping revenue um, without sacrificing um, abandoned carts or loss of revenue and loss of sales. We get so frustrated when we see the way that other fulfillment companies work. It's, just, it's a business that's existed for as long as we've been moving products between two people. And it's sad to me that the technology has not really seem to improve at all. So to find an organization who essentially said, let's start from scratch and build something that is robust, but gets rid of all the BS that doesn't serve to help anybody except for maybe a company that's got 300 warehouses, then you know that's like a winner for me. The, the unique thing about Ship Hero in particular is that it's not one of these legacy platforms that's been around for 30 years where they've just been continuously bolting things on top of one another. There's been a lot of effort to think about it from an e-commerce store business owner's perspective as opposed to only the warehouse owner's perspective. As a fulfillment company who's wholeheartedly trying to change the way that the fulfillment business as an industry operates, it was really great to discover a software platform and a shipping and warehouse management system that really thought about things in the way that we did. With Ship Hero, it's been fantastic because all of those little checks and balances keep us from doing double the work that um, we would have done back in the old days. Okay, well a typical day for me getting started uh, at Sauceda Industries. I'll grab the iPad, I'll grab uh, however many totes I need to get started, and. Right now I have eight. So essentially I'll get on the iPad, I'll uh, go to the batch picking part, and I'll enter in that I have eight totes, and that will begin the picking process. It will pull up the most relevant orders first. Those will come in first, therefore they go out first, and uh, we stay on track. So now that I got my orders pulled up in Ship Hero, I'm gonna grab my little barcode scanner, and I'm gonna head out to the first location. Now that we're at the first location, I'm gonna scan this barcode, and that should highlight the first item on my list, knowing that I've got the correct item at the correct location. Now that I've picked my first item, I'm gonna assign it to a tote. Currently, this is the first item that I've picked, so all these are empty. I'm gonna assign this to the triple Q tote right here. All right, now it says that that item needs to go in this tote, so I'll put it in there. I'll scan it one more time, and that confirms that I've put it in that tote. Ship Hero provides a very streamlined purchase order process, which allows us to manage that inbound inventory process in a way that is cohesive to the client and to us as the fulfillment center receiving the inventory. Okay, the way we're using Ship Hero right now is we're utilizing the purchase order function to streamline the inbounding of product. 
So at the moment we have a client that has given us new product, which has, is the first time it's been in this warehouse. So there is bin space that we need to create for on the shelves. We need to print out product barcodes to assign to the products themselves so that product can be assigned to a bin location. All of that functionality is enabled by the iPad and um, by the purchase order functionality. So now that the inventory has arrived into our warehouse, Logan is using the iPad to pull up the purchase order that is specific to this product. He's able to see each and every individual product and how much was supposed to arrive. And what he's doing right now is using the iPad to accept quantities, and he's also printing product barcodes wirelessly from the iPad. So as he selects, a product barcode is getting printed elsewhere in the warehouse. At the same time, when Logan is using the iPad and the purchase order functionality to accept in inventory, he's also able to account for any discrepancies that may have happened from the manufacturer's side. So that could be an overship or an undership of quantities, or it could also account for any defects that may have shown up that we have caught on our end. One of my favorite features of Ship Hero has been the ability to have a pulled back wide view of what's happening in our warehouse and being able to throttle and uh, give priority to areas of the shipping queue that require a little extra TLC. From a store owner's perspective, being able to do pre-sales and selling ahead on inventory or selling through purchase orders that you know are coming is such a crucial feature. I mean, if a customer's here today, you want to be able to sell to them today. When we used to work on a different platform than Shapiro, we were very anti pre-sale. It created so many headaches for us. It ended up creating a lot of overselling and stocking out of various SKUs. And with Ship Hero, one of my favorite features of the purchase orders is the ability to create the purchase order for whatever number or quantity of items that you need, and then also go ahead and tell the system how many you're willing to go ahead and sell ahead on. So Shopify or whatever doesn't know any different, it receives those orders into its queue um, and allows the, that inventory to be sold through as though it actually existed. But when those orders make their way downstream into Ship Hero, our guys on the floor aren't having to pick around these random orders in the way that we used to on our old platform. And so the, that back order status and, and funneling and, and um, filtering of orders via the purchase order system has been fantastic. It's been really helpful to be able to sift through the different shipping methods, see what we're charging, what the difference is, have an ongoing running tally of whether they're profiting or uh, losing money on shipping. And you can do all that with Ship Hero. And in some respects, you know, from a 3PL perspective, it allows us to go and make the case that we can charge what we're charging because you're profiting a little bit of money on your shipping rate. So um, that data has been really pretty invaluable to us.